Uh, now, it could just be the same thing we've seen plenty of times before, and uh, we'll just see how it plays out. But we're starting off on the Fortress of Lions, because where else would we be? You know, I just talked to somebody that does lore for Brawlhalla. Apparently, the rock formation is natural. Actually, he did not confirm that. He so said he, sure to me. He said sure because, like, he just wanted you to stop talking to him. All right, man. Well, yeah. you know what? <laughs> Baron, Baron, help me out here. And shout out to Baron, by the way, the lore master. But nonetheless, we're here. We got uh, Onyx versus Wushong, which has been uh, quite a common occurrence as a team comp here in North yeah. America. Although Axe is very strong, we love our gauntlets in North America. And so far, and the blue team having a little bit more success in this combination. Yeah, uh, I just realized the, that they're both playing the same team. Yep, exactly <laughs> the same. Mm -hmm. You know, Onyx is sick, though. Onyx is my favorite character. I love, I love her. She's great. Um, but yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how this all plays out. Now we're going to see our first stock disappear here at the hands of Heizo. And, uh, or no, Hideaway, excuse me. And uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes forward from here right now. Red team in, in a little bit of a tough spot, but you know, I mean, they still got plenty of time to kind of, you know, figure their things out and kind of bring it all together. Yeah, you t I feel like we kind of, kind of tend to forget how tanky Wushan can be and holding on to those stocks for Zen is definitely the name of the game. Experience though, the one stock tanking so far, having the cannon in hand and still playing aggressive, which is a really good mix up, especially when you are the person that's holding that first stock still. A lot of times you won't think, oh, they're gonna, you know, they're not gonna come up at me and Experience just dashes across the stage and gets the uh, end light out. So already Experience showing off, like I will snowball this lead, but Balloon Boy getting that side stick to close out that stock and looking for this juggle on Zen who's sandwiched, but still finds the recovery on on uh, Balloon Boy and finds that stock. Yep, I'll say pretty even across the board, except Hideaway almost losing that stock. As you can see, Experience was looking for a way to shark it out and get it out of there anyway. It does find a way to close it out now. Four stocks to three. We've got Blue Team with a slight lead here. Uh, Zen would have to be a little bit careful. It doesn't look like he's too worried about you know his positioning and stuff. So we'll see how it plays out. But right now, all right, there we go. Ah, oh, Hideaway. Ooh. Balloon Boy just was not able to confirm into that. That would have been a huge conversion. Yeah, Experience is then playing very well right now with this stock lead and just kind of allowing Red Team to, uh, you know, attempt to get those big combos going. And as soon as they mess up, ready to jump on those whiffs. Balloon Boy getting caught in the left side. The blue team opting to, instead of edge guarding, going for the 2v1 on Hideaway. The pickup continues as Zen gets the downlight into recovery for some more damage. Mm. Really, really fast game plan from the blue team. Just always, it, it feels like no matter what spot you're in, you're always at risk of getting hit or uh, team combo for some big damage. Balloon Boy gets hit with the downlight. Nice awareness from experience to not go for the end light. And that end sig from Zen will close out the stock, forcing Balloon Boy on his last stock as well. The blue team, slight stock advantage. You're looking to lose those stocks soon, but right now, now it's looking pretty good as they extend this lead. Yeah, and there we go. Going to be able to close that one out too. One stock across the board. Hideaway is in a little bit of trouble here in that red. However, I mean, it is Onyx. You do have a little bit of life left in this stock, hopefully. Uh, and does have weapons in hand, both of them, actually. Actually, everybody has time right now. It's basically almost gauntlets. We could get all gauntlets at some point. Did you just realize that? I just realized that. Four gauntlets on the screen. No, North America wouldn't have it any other way, especially not in Fortress Alliance. Yeah. Okay. There we go, Hideaway whipping there, and is gonna get punished for it, losing that stock. And now two to one. Ooh. Now Wu Shang's a strong character, and honestly, Bloom Boy is very capable of doing this 2v1, pulling it off. It's gonna be a very tough uphill battle, and we're not gonna be able to see any attempt at that as Zen finds a way to clutch that one out. And I just realized what's bothering me about this set. What's bothering you? What's bothering me is that we had Balloon Boy and uh, Hideaway. Uh, they were blue earlier. Oh. And Experience and Zen were red earlier, and now they're the, sop the separate colors, or the opposite colors, and it's throwing me off. It's all right. You yeah, know, I don't getting, like that. Definitely getting late, so, it, yeah. It's not late, okay? <laughs> it's not late. What time is it? It is 8 o'clock. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that's, that's that not late. I'm usually up to, like, 4 a.m. That's not late. Should be for me. Well, then your day's starting. Well, nonetheless, we're here. Game one going to Zen and Experience. The colors are swapped if you were watching their previous sets, but we'll try to keep you up uh, to date on who's who. Okay. These two, yep, dancing around here. Nice. Okay, you know what? Um, you know, you do get some damage on the enemy there, but like, you just like, you're kind of like, hey man, you're gonna have to hold this for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm with it, I'm with it. But it was funny because it's like the Aangs work together. <laughs> they were on a team for a little bit. <laughs> oh 
nice conversion there from Balloon Boy to close out the stock. The red Ooh. team coming out with essentially the same lead that the blue team had in game number one. Very close set so far. Mm -hmm. They were saying, although Experience Zen are seated above, they still have lost the previous two sets to Balloon Boy and Hideaway in similar fashions to this. Oh, almost getting a turnaround on that, the reversal, but uh, we are going to see Experience with the recovery and the gauntlets to actually just kind of hit Balloon Boy up, which is fine. Nice. I guess you'll take that, right? Yeah. It's not the worst case scenario. You do end up cleaning up the stock regardless, and this is very even, like stocks and damage wise. I mean, Heidi Way has a little bit extra sauce on him, but whatever. Yeah, so experience getting forced into the corner there and gets picked up uh, by Hideaway, who burns the sweat beats out. But yeah, the red team getting juggled quite hard as the blue team have quite a big advantage state on Balloon Boy and Hideaway, but they finally find their footing and try to get something going. But experience and Zen are playing very evasive. Uh, once they drop the advantage, they, uh, you know, dashing into the corner and then whiff punishing as the red team just try to get anything and they're playing so controlled right now, getting the connection to the SIG, but it gets interrupted. Balloon Boy picks up on experience with that Nair and the recovery hits Zen, but somehow experience falling without uh, being able to touch the wall. The Pogos come in, going for the big ground pound, but a double connection on that recovery on the cannon for Hideaway gives Hideaway one more chance at life here. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Okay, Hideaway was in a little bit of a tough spot. Had to go really high and then threw the weapon down to kind of give himself a little bit of space. And unfortunately for him, his partner will lose their second stock here, but three stocks across the board for both teams. Things aren't looking particularly bad for either team here. However, one big play. Oh, oh wow, okay, they both played made big, uh, big plays and yeah. nobody really took a lead, all right. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, you know, if one of them, that one of those KOs ended up in a 2v1, but it didn't. Balloon Boy, though, barely able to make it back. Hideaway with a side light to give Balloon Boy some resources back, but yeah, it has been very difficult for any of the cannon players to get strings going with the spear in hands of both of the supporting cast. Ooh. It's very difficult, but as I say that, oh. Hideaway with a big edge guard missing the ground pound, getting uh, interrupted by that weapon toss, that saved Experience's life. Wow, that was a lot of damage we thrown out there. If, honestly, I think if that was uh, that was Zen in that position with that much damage, I think that would have been a 2v1 scenario. But Onyx having that little bit of extra weight, definitely looking pretty good right now. Experience without a weapon. Zen throwing a weapon away in favor of those gauntlets. Experience dodging down. Experience Zen not hitting his own teammate, but Balloon Boy will hit Experience there. And Zen in what would be a almost impossible 2v1. If you can find this KO on Balloon Boy, though, it would make it a lot easier for yourself. Looking for that recovery, you see that scouting that out. Hideaway just ready to get that Nair on the whiff punish, though. Yeah. Oh, there oh. it is. Clean it up. Red team That's win. one apiece now for both teams. Should be interesting. Both players are, are both players. Both teams, all four players are actually playing very, very well right now. Yeah. Uh, I don't feel like anybody is playing bad, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's just kind of a matter of somebody's got to play a little bit worse, right? Yeah, exactly. And it, and, it, and the thing is, is by when I say worse, it's still really, really good. Yeah. So somebody somebody's got to lose. That's how this game works. And if not, we go to sudden death and you know do our thing there. Uh, what I'm noticing is the Onyx player is opting for the cannon a lot more of the time. And Two, what you're seeing is, one, uh, as Hideaway or Experience have a cannon, you have Zen and Balloon Boy on the spear, looking to not only whiff punish, but also uh, you know follow up on a lot of these dodges that get burned out by cannon. Mm -hmm. I think that's what gives spear that advantage in twos, is the ability to quickly put out these long range hitboxes very well. But as I say that, Experience proving me wrong with the gauntlet activation, almost finding a KO, but Balloon Boy able to save his teammate with that spear recovery, very big hitbox. Yep. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, you technically stopped the combo, yeah. but you kind of also kept it going a little bit. Yeah. I, like, I do like what you did, but yeah, yeah, unfortunately, you just kind of one of those, I have to hit you, my friend, in order to stop your pain. <laughs> yeah. It would have been a lot worse if you let Onyx combo to a sick yeah. there. So good, a very heads up play from Zen, and yes. continuing to be very heads up with these landing side airs. So call it Balloon Boy trying to jump back to the stage. Hideaway getting a recovery there, and some chaos in oh. center stage. Somehow the blue team coming out on top of it. Nice side air to find that KO. Yeah, this is actually really crazy right now. Blue team's doing a pretty solid job. Well, actually, it was, yeah, three stocks. They're all, like, up in that deep red there, too. I mean, obviously, Hideaway, he's got two stocks now. But, yeah, uh, not doing too bad. Blue team, all right, does have a solid lead here at two stocks apiece. However, these stocks could be disappearing very quickly. There goes one. Can I get a two? All right, didn't confirm anything. All right, just barely. I'm probably a little bit on uh, Miss Space, but. And nonetheless, avoiding that cannon kind of ground pound like it's played. You just got to be careful when you get those, uh, you know, low recoveries versus experience. Who's going to be looking for those ground pounds nonstop. Nice recovery there to yep. catch the whiff punish on the end light. And it's back down to an even stock. Uh, even stocks to appease experience with the fist bump there. No one fist bumped experience. I wonder why. Maybe because they're playing for their spot in grand finals. <laughs> 
it's a little disappointing. You like you like to see the the good uh, jolly sportsmanship, but like Maybe you mentioned, right they, they are playing for grand finals right now. It's not exactly the time for friendship between teams. It's all about securing your spot for at least a guaranteed second place, and that's more money. So that's what it's all about, Zen. Had that sweat beat situation earlier on. Didn't get KO'd for it. Throwing the weapons away and. Ugh, scary spot as Hideaway is looking for that recovery. As I say, that experience gets in there to disarm Balloon Boy right now. So Balloon Boy now the one unarmed but picks up a spear immediately. Somehow they're always on the same weapon cycle between the two teams as well. Mm -hmm. Nice recovery there to nice. close out that stock from Balloon Boy. Barely hitting that outside hitbox, but it's just enough to find that KO. And now Zen on his last stock. The red team equalizing the stocks, but we'll see for how long that can continue. Ugh. Yeah, just a matter about getting back down to, to the stage here. Yeah, this is definitely looking a little bit tough, especially for Hideaway. He's going to have to be a little bit careful now in a 2v1 scenario. Stay away, stay elusive as much as you can. Does find a way to stay alive and stay out of the way. Good stuff right there. And getting a stock in the process is Balloon Boy looking to find a way to take Zen out as well. Not able to find anything. And this is tough, man. Like, as Hideaway, you got to figure out what the best time is to get involved. Otherwise, you risk your stock or risk your friend going down. To really hold on to the stock as hideaway, but you see the aggression, you still have to do damage. If you play totally on the back foot, you just can't get anything going, and you need to if you want to make this damage deficit uh, uh, evaporate. Mm -hmm. Nice side air there, hideaway in a terrible spot on this recovery, and Zen yep. capitalizes with the ground pound after the dodge. GC and sick to close out that game, and the blue team going up 2 1 in the set. Very, very good stuff from Zen, who Basically closed out the game on his own, got the ground pound low, and immediately went high to cover that uh, very, you know, stalling uh, recovery attempt there. Yep. And now we have a two to one lead here for Experience and Zen. We're really going to need uh, our red team here to lock in Balloon Boy and Hideaway. I'm sure they got something up their sleeve. Again, it's, everybody's been playing very good. It's been very even throughout. Like, we haven't seen any crazy leads. Like, I don't think we've seen a three stock lead. We definitely have not seen a four stock lead. Uh, but here we go, game four. Let's see how it plays out. Zen Experience needs one more to lock their spot in the grand finals to see if they can get it done here. See, they got the double gauntlets to start off. The other team getting the opposite. Uh, and we'll see if the range uh, differential will be a big oh. thing for the red team. And so far, it looks like it is. That was a lot of damage to get this started here. That was actually really well done by red team. I like the fact that they're, it seems like they're locking in. They're, they're really in sync right now. Yep. And that's definitely what's something you want to see, especially from a team that's down one game and facing, uh, going to the elimination side of bracket here. <laughs> Balloon Boy picking up one. Wow. Can they kick out Zen? They do not find a way to close out that stock quite yet. But Hideaway with another strong hit here. That's going to be some sweat beads and they will go up two stocks. Beautiful. Very, very clean conversions. After that team combo to get some big damage, and, and uh, Hideaway still going as Experience has the sweat beat and no way to get back. Balloon Boy sealing the fate. Hideaway going off with the down air as well, and Zen losing the stock as well. It's entire. It's just chaos on the left side of Small Fortress of Lines. We got to get away from there as the blue team, because the red team will run away with this game. It's been one minute, and four stocks have been taken from the blue team, and it is still going as Hideaway looks for that bit extension. But can Experience make it back? The ground pound comes in from Balloon Boy. Experience touches the wall. So we have a semblance of control for the blue team, but it got real scary there for a second. That was nutty how I was just talking about like we oh haven't seen any goodness. crazy leads yet, but here we are all of a sudden red team turning it up and that's what you like to see. The big thing I really love to see here, right, was red team recognizing how big of a lead they had. They realized those stocks are valuable resources to utilize and they went off stage. They got ignorant. They got aggressive. They got a couple stocks out of it and they established an incredibly strong lead out of there. Beautifully played from start to finish. They technically five stocked. I'm gonna be honest here. I know they lost the stock to Yen, but that's a five stock. I'm giving it to them. And the blue team, neither player breaking 200 damage. I mean, that just shows you. And I, I'm sure a majority of that was hitting recoveries as the red team was edge guarding the blue team. So that did that game even really happen? I mean, it just yes. happened so quickly. Yes, it did because it's 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> it's, it's game five. I, I, I mean, I don't even know what to say about that game. But hopefully, oh. as the blue team, you're able to kind of reset. Be like, you, you know have what? To. Everything went bad, which means we'll just do nothing that we did in the last game, and we'll get right into game five. As experience looks to already Whoa. find a KO on Hideaway. Can Hideaway make his way back? Yes, he does. No ground pound coming out from Zen, but so much damage. Hideaway flipping it though, as Zen finds Sweat B has Sweat B's the down air, seals the fate with the ground pound. Balloon Boy with some team okay. damage, and the red team already coming out with a big lead.
I'm gonna be honest here. I'm kind of surprised blue team just locked right in like right away Like you could have just taken like a second or two. Just yeah, like, hey, let's dial it back Let's reset our mental and it's not like they're playing bad It's just that you keep red teams momentum at an all-time high here as they're just continuing to dominate a little bit more control for the blue team as they both find their footing here and look to create somewhat of a defense, but Balloon Boy getting called out yep. on that recovery with the down air and hide away in a 2v1. Pretty bad one as Experience Ooh. finds the down light into, into Nair and all of a sudden the blue team have a stock lead experience being the one with their last stock, first stock still. Yep. There we go. Almost taking out Experience here. Experience the sole player with three stocks. Everybody else had two. But blue team, despite a bit of a rough start, has answered back very, very well. Yes. Running around hideaway, just getting those dash jump down airs out as a good disruption tool. Make sure that blue team can't find any uh, big combos, which kind of sealed their fate in the last game. Nice down light there from Experience, mm. but you see Zen playing very defensively here as Experience has that extra stock to play with, can be a little bit more aggressive. Yep. Zen knows that, you know, you don't want to take too much damage here. Ugh. Somehow living the down air, Experience still alive on his first stock. Okay. Oh, there it is. That's a huge stock. You needed to get that one out of the way. Experience has been doing an exceptional job of staying alive here. I don't know if Zen could make it back here. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Hideaway finds the ground pound, but Experience flips the situation. Hideaway getting caught with the ground pound. Balloon Boy saving, uh, but Experience knowing in the ground pound oh. came in. And like you were calling, sometimes you just got to cut your losses because it could always be worse than one stock. You can both lose your stock. And now the blue team, two stocks separates them from winning this game. Experience with that second stock as well. Listen, Experience is showcasing right now what it takes to be one of the best players in the world and turn it up when your team meets needs it most. They have been a beautiful stock tank holding on to that third stock forever. Oh. They have double KO twice in this game. They do lose a stock there. Everything's all even, but I want to see if Experience still has something left to make sure his team gets to grand, and we might be able to see that play out right now. Well, we are going to see it play out. That's definitely for sure. Oh, scary spot as Experience takes quite a bit of damage, and so does Zen, but that side air hits Hideaway as well, and Experience looking to find the edge guard. Didn't find the nair, but got the down air on Balloon Boy. Both players stuck on the wall. They finally make their way back to stage, but it was a scary edge guarding spot. Experience hitting Zen there. Ooh. That could have been bad, and looking for the jump read, didn't find it. That would have been... It's like absolutely devastating for Red Team. They have Ooh. to be so careful right now, especially Hideaway. There goes Hideaway. 2v1 scenario with Balloon Boy. We've seen him make these comebacks once already before. Zen is also familiar. It's something with the, with the Aang players. They know how to make great comebacks in 2v1 scenarios. Got that Avatar, Avatar State built really? in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the comeback mechanic of oh, comeback this is mechanics. So tough. Oh, another recovery finds its mark on Balloon Boy, who still has not found a weapon experience. Getting the down light, no conversion. Balloon Boy with the unarmed recovery won't KO Zen and has some gauntlets in hand, sweat beads, but a soft platform to assist him in an attempt. But this would be a, I mean, a monumental comeback if you can do this one. But I mean, I, I don't really see how you find a KO. Every hit will be answered with a recovery or maybe just a SIG off the wall. And Zen and Experience lock in their ticket to Grand Finals. Wow. Guaranteed second place. They talked a lot about Experience and Zen, how they haven't been performing as well, but they finally do perform here as they are guaranteed second in Grand Finals. Man, the transition from Game 4 of getting absolutely stomped, getting into Game 5 here, and I really got to hand it...